guys so welcome back to my channel I am going to be talking about well you can see from what the title says it's gonna be nothing different literally it's just how I kept to make <sighs> how I kept to maintain and my blonde for a slash 4b hair because there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about that about black people that bleach their hair blonde in a fur like there's not a lot i just want to give out some more information maybe some tips and tricks that might help other people i don't know but this is what i did i like to call myself a professional but i haven't got a qualification for it i just make wigs and i do hair <laughs> but yeah you don't have to take my word for it my word is not gold if you do want to take the leap then by all means continue watching and that's what we and make sure that you subscribe I decided to bleach my hair in December, um, a day before my birthday, so it was the 19th of December 2016, and now we're on the, in the 30th of June 2017. So yeah, it's been six months plus a little bit. Um, it's been amazing. I haven't been one shade of blonde. I have been like three different shades of blonde. More times it's because of mistakes, but sometimes it's just because that's the blonde that I actually want. The first blonde that I had on my birthday, that was the wrong shade because my little sister, she doesn't know how to um, listen to or read instructions and she got me the wrong box hair dye. So it was more of an olivey. It was cute, everyone liked it, it went with my, my eyes, but yeah, that wasn't what I was going for. So when I did have to redo my roots i was like okay great opportunity let me just get it to the blonde that i actually want which was closer to this um and that's when i actually legit felt like a barbie doll i love having blonde hair the contrast is fantastic and i'm gonna insert some pictures of um my hair blonde and you'll also be able to see the texture Since I've bleached it I have not applied heat I mean sometimes like on the rare occasion I'll blow dry it like if I'm about to go out and I actually need it done ASAP but more times I'll do it the night before so that I can style it and everything or that um, I can let it air dry and it's absolutely fine I haven't straightened it at all I'm too scared because I'm like I've already put peroxide bleach coloring in my hair is it really smart to then go and add heat that kind of heat 230 degrees honey i don't think so you kind of become obsessed with your hair but in a good way i use coconut i use argan i use castor i also I use cantu's leave-in conditioner i also i used the henna conditioner it was a random one that i found somewhere in like savers and I just, it was a deep treatment, apparently, but I don't know. And it wasn't bad. But those are the main products I use, and I always have a water bottle that has my silver, you know, provokes silver right, conditioner. I always put that in rather than regular, regular conditioner. I didn't wash my hair. Well, I don't wash my hair with regular shampoo. I always, always, always use toning shampoo. So, again... I'm going to put pictures in if I can actually find the pictures, but provoke um, their purple shampoo. Like, it's bright purple. And if you're not careful, you will accidentally turn your hair a bit too lilac -y. Like, if you have this kind of blonde and you leave it in for, like, 15, 20, 25 minutes, half an hour, an hour, it will get a bit purple. But it's okay because it's not a colorant. It's not a hair dye, so it won't. Um, permanently dye your hair if you just wash it wash it out then it will wash out after a few washes but it won't it won't permanently dye your hair I wash my hair regularly I when I was younger or when my hair was black I would leave it like three weeks sometimes up to a month with my hair being blonde although it does hide dirt a lot because when you have black hair 
dirt tends to be like white but with blonde hair you're really blonde so you can't really see the dirt so it hides a lot but i wash it regularly i think once a week maybe once every fortnight no particular reason as to why but i just love having my hair out. i mean i bleached it you know so why not my hair was very healthy that's one thing you need to make sure of you need to make sure that your hair is healthy you need to be taking care of it prior to you need to make sure your hair is not damaged because your bleaching is a damaging process let's be real it's a damaging process but if your hair is already damaged your hair might fall out it might it might not but it's gonna pretty much kill it if your hair is healthy your hair can take it a little bit like can take it more because when i bleached my hair like the first three times abs absolutely fine and it everyone was telling me my hair was gonna fall out absolutely fine it did make my hair um a little like break a little bit but not to a crazy crazy extent but my hair did feel dry your hair will feel dry yeah I know that's annoying I don't know how to even describe the dryness but there's a texture to it that's it's not smooth like it's a bit I don't want to say rubbery but it's kind of rubbery that that's how you can tell like oh I've really stripped everything out of my hair so bearing in mind that you've just stripped everything out you need to now be putting stuff in now let's talk quickly about sealing in moisture the trick to sealing in moisture is spray bowl water water but you can't some people will just apply oils to their hair but that's basically you're sealing in no moisture because you haven't applied any moisture to it does that make sense an oil is a seal i want to say sealant but i feel like that isn't english okay oil seals but water is what puts in the moisture or a leave-in conditioner will add moisture so make sure that you either spray your hair not completely soak it but like damp just make sure there's some moisture up in there so your hair can really drink that up um <clears throat> and then you can put in your oils don't just be slapping on oils with your hair dry i've done that and then i researched and turns out that was silly yes 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 you know when you're having your lazy days but with this kind of hair you can't be lazy or if you are going to be lazy please 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 just make sure your hair is packed pack your ups just pack your ups because your hair will easily fall out yeah i can't lie it's a beautiful beautiful color and people especially because i have a fro like most girls who bleach their hair blonde have short hair like from what it, it looks like i have my hair's down here. Oh, I think it's gone shorter actually. I cut it. Yeah, I cut it up to here. Yeah, that's where my hair's at right now. Yeah, that, my head looks so big. Like, I look like a bobble head. My head isn't this big in real life. Like, I'm actually, everything's in proportion, I think. Clearly not. <laughs> it's really, it's really pretty to look at. It's i think that's really it it's just really pretty to look at and that's why most people want to bleach their hair and most girls who bleach their hair have short hair so it's easier to maintain and on top of that what if it grows fast they can just even if they ruin their hair cut it off you only had like one inch anyway with me i was taking a risk like you understand why I was so like trying to find research and YouTube is usually the best source but at that particular time not really there's tutorials on how to bleach your hair but not really any information on the process afterwards and how to keep it and how to not let your hair break I think make sure you trim your ends make sure make sure make sure you trim your ends that's what I did I trimmed like two inches off I trimmed off two inches, yeah, and I, I believe two inches grew back because I trimmed it so that I couldn't tie up my hair or put it in a poof. Well, the poof was just tiny, but now my poof is back to normal. You know your hair, you know your hair, and you know when you can sense that mm, 
my hair might start breaking or mm, my hair like it's a little bit thinner at the ends or mm, like you just know so take care of it if you need to trim it trim it don't trim it every week <laughs> just trim it like every six months I, I believe correct me if I'm wrong I do believe that that is the recommended amount twice a year so you gotta trim it twice a year bleaching your hair does change the texture of your hair it does it loosens it for me it wasn't a crazy amount like I've always had like a mix of like is it s waves s s curls in my hair and little ringlets anyway like I've always had that but it loosened up a little bit and the more you bleach the more it will loosen up so that's just a pre-warning but for the most part it do it doesn't it doesn't do any anything crazy you can't have like 4z hair and expect to end up with 3c like it, it's not that dramatic it's literally the tiniest amount also oh when you do your edges it will always look like you don't have edges I don't know why I don't know how but this is the trick that I do so I'll do my edges slick it down slick it down slick it down then once it dries I will scratch it it sounds so weird but when you scratch it it like brings back the blonde so then you can actually tell do you have edges otherwise your hair will look like it starts back there and that ain't cute because I'm like no the bleach did not take my edges I got edges you just can't see it do whatever you want to do honestly people always have something to say so if you want to bleach your hair if you want to dye it pink or purple because I'm going to go dark purple next but like yeah if you want to you want to dye your hair do it you just have to do your research and know what will work for you honestly leave-in conditioners will end up being your best friend for the first two months like after a while you won't be so on it like a car bonnet but as soon as you bleach your hair leave-in conditioner and deep conditioning will become your best friend. Don't over moisturize it. Be careful because there is a very fine line between over moisturizing your hair, over hydrating, I don't know. But there is a fine line. So make sure your hair isn't crazy dry to the point where, that when you're parting it, that's a problem. It can't be so dry that when you brush your hair, like you can feel it in your brain. <laughs> can't be that dry just make sure you're taking care of your hair you're moisturizing it become obsessed with your hair do your research on products not not everyone's hair reacts well to coconut oil so don't just assume that that's the first thing you should slap on your forehead no do your research figure out what products work for you and continue using it things that may work for me may not work for you like can do works for me might not work for you you might have to find a completely different brand and that's absolutely fine just find things that work for you and your headpiece because it's your hair that you're trying to grow for those whose hair grows pretty fast like me I, I think it's just about been two weeks two weeks just about two weeks and my roots are already coming through my roots started to show when I was on holiday like I started to see little black dots you know when your soul is just so angry like this is the last time I'm gonna bleach my hair like can you just work with me please like I don't understand why you're not working with me yeah for those whose hair grows very rapido there's nothing you can do to prevent that it will get so frustrating trust me because it frustrates my soul to a whole different level because bleaching is such a such a harsh process that you can't continuously do it you have to wait I used to wait like a month at a time before re-bleaching my hair another reason why i'm just like i'm i'm done with it like if i could permanently be this blonde like forever oh i would love it absolutely love it but i can't so yeah if there's any other hair advice or anything that um <coughs> i didn't touch on that you want me to do a video on or that you want me to add to then please let me know make sure you do look, comment like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you